Hey everybody, Rusty here from Rusty Ship. And today I'm going to be talking about our hit song, SS Naronic. Um, as many of you know, the song has an epic music video to it, uh, created by the one and only Hein Zeman. He's the artist who did the album artwork for Mortal Ghost. So pretty awesome that we got that artist to do a music video for us also, so it's completely consistent with the artwork. And what's also cool is that he actually used a lot of the same components as the Moral Ghost album cover in the SS Neurotic video. So check that out if you haven't already. It's amazing. Um, so about the song SS Neuronic. This could just be the most creative Rusty Ship song ever made. Lyrically, musically, everything. So this song came about um, first of all, from well, I wanted to have a song that was basically as rusty ship as possible. And nothing's more rusty ship than an actual rusty ship, like a sunken ship. So it's like, okay, I want to make a song that sounds like a sunken ship or a ship sinking. So what I did, went into my room, pulled up sunken ship videos on YouTube. And I turned out all the lights in my room, um, got my guitar, my headphones going in through GarageBand, and I'm watching these videos of um, sunken ship wreckage under the seas. And just like getting in the zone and then like playing like whatever guitar riffs came to my mind, these like ultimate uh, reverbed out grungy rock riffs. And then, so I came up with some really cool riffs and the best pieces of that I compiled together into what is now SS Neuronic. And then the main riff, it was like But it has it has this ongoing go in the space of that I was like oh what about the name of a ship that could go in there so I was specifically looking for ship names that were dun, 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 five syllables and so alas I went on to Google and then I went on to Wikipedia and I just looked at a list of um, all the ships and I found a few that actually had five syllables. I was like, well, like what? You know, some of them were like really not cool sounding names. But then I saw a few of them and I saw SS Neuronic. I was like, dude, what's, it, what's this ship about? I started reading about it and it's like, oh my gosh, what a fascinating story. It's a ship that sunk. No one knows what happened to it. It, it went missing in 1893, 3.10 a.m., February 19th just like the lyrics indicate. And so the SS Neurotic, no one knows what happened to it, except um, months after it went missing, they found messages in bottles that washed up on shore. And it, they claim to have been written by the crew of the SS Neurotic while it was sinking. And there were four messages in bottles that were found. And so what I did is I took those words from those messages and I compiled them together into the lyrics of the song. So these song lyrics are directly taken from those messages in bottles from 1893. And, you know, in, in normal nautical fashion, it starts out with the date and the time that the letter is being written. 3.10 a.m., 19th of February, 1893. So that's the first lyrics of this song. Etc. So this song is pretty cool. I love it very much. Um, and it's detailing the sinking of the SS Neuronic, but really trying to take the listener into that frenzy and chaos that must have been present from a ship going down at 3.10 a.m. in, uh, you know, the February icy cold waters out, you know, it was in between, I think it was in between Liverpool and New York City. So that's some icy waters in February. And just the, the, and 
you know, back in 1893, they didn't have any way to communicate to anybody that they were sinking. Um, it's just like, man, what a, what a dismal experience of like ultimate human depravity. And I was like, okay, I wanted to get in the mind of those people and like reflect kind of that, that angst going on as these guys are going to their death um, in this icy, cold, dark water that they can't even see. And so like, in, like in, in, in a in philosophical fashion, obviously they must have been wrestling with, you know, you know, God help us, God have mercy on us. Why does stuff like this happen? What is the purpose of this? And it, it even indicates that in the letters that they wrote. You know, it's just like, you know, God have mercy on us. We're, we're sinking fast. So very, um, very sad, very disturbing, but also very interesting and thought provoking. And uh, this song, unlike some of our others, uh, doesn't really have a happy ending. It's just kind of dark and abysmal. <laughs> but it didn't have a happy ending until the music video came out. <laughs> and good old Hein Zeman found a creative sci-fi twist on this whole thing, figured out a way to make it a happy ending, which may or may not have included fixing the SS Neuronic underwater, strapping it to the back of a whale, and getting back to land. <laughs> but you'll have to find out for yourself when watching that music video. So that's pretty much the gist of SS Neuronic. Definitely check it out. Um, a song that we are all very, very proud of.